Today we are going to look at something really fun. We will look at running multiple virtual machines on an ARM based single port computer. We will be making use of a virtualization software called as Proxmox which is an open source software that allows you to create multiple virtual machines. Now I will not go deep into understanding Proxmox but we will look at how we can set it up and spin up a virtual machine on it. For this setup, I will be making use of an Orange Pi 5 Max that has a rock chip RK3588 which is an octa-core ARM processor. Now let's look at how we can set up Proxmox. So firstly we need a Debian based image for the Orange Pi 5 Max and I'm going to select Ambient OS and we have a community build image for the Orange Pi 5 Max. Now after downloading this, I'm going to flash this image onto the HD card using the Raspberry Pi imager but you can choose any other imager that you want. Now I'm going to select the image file and then select the storage and finally flash this on the SD card. Now once we insert the SD card and boot up the Orange Pi 5 Max, you would be presented with this screen to set up the Ambient OS. So here you create the root password as well as a new user and a password for the new user. So once you do this entire configuration, we will now be able to do a SSH to this Orange Pi 5 Max using the username and password that we just created. So after doing an SSH, first thing you have to switch to the root user and then we are going to open the etc host file and make some changes there. And here I'm going to add a few configurations here. So first thing I'm going to add is the IP address and I'm going to give the host name which is this host name right now followed by this proxmox.com and then again you're going to add the host name that is orange pi 5 max and this is what you need to put right now so once you do that write this file and i'm going to exit this so now to check if this configuration is all correct copy this command and execute it and this should return you the ip address of the host actually now what we are going to do is we are going to follow the next steps so first thing is that we are going to add this Proxmox virtual environment repository and then we are going to add the Proxmox virtual environment repository key and with this we are going to then update the repository. So let me do this one by one. Now once this is completed we have to install the binaries required for Proxmox. So for this let's go back to our documentation here and here we are going to first of all install if up down to and then after that we are going to install the Proxmox virtual environment packages. So now these are already installed for me right now. Now in case if you face problems while installing if up down to just restart the SPC and then afterwards it will install properly. Now all these dependencies all installed. Next what we have to do is now since the Orange Pi 5 Max is based on the rock chip RK3588 I need to install certain binaries that are required for Proxmox to work. So first of all I'm going to copy these commands so this is for Proxmox 8.1 and above and I'm going to run these. So now once this is done we should be able to access this IP address. So the IP address and 8006. So let's try opening that. If it does not open up, just restart the board and then this UI should be available. So once you do that, you'll be presented with this login screen and then afterwards you can enter the root username and password. So I'm specifying the username root and the password for the root user. Now here is what you get as the first UI. Now in case you are new to Proxmox then you might have to watch some other videos also to learn about the internals of Proxmox. Right now I will show you how you can create a virtual machine on this Proxmox instance and run it. So let me first show you this is the Orange Pi 5 Max that we have right now and it has stuff like the storage that it has the local storage. I have like a 62 GB card on which the OS is installed and then we have the local area network here. So first thing what we are going to do is we are going to now create a VM for Debian and see how the installation and how it boots up. So for this, what we have to do is uh, let's search for the Debian ARM64 image. So I'm going to search for this image here and here you get this image and I'm going to now copy the URL. So copy clean link and I'm going to go to my local storage here and then here in this ISO images, I'm going to click here and click on download from URL. So I'm going to paste the URL for the ISO query URL and then afterwards I'm going to click on download. So now this will download the Debian ISO image. So now the download is all completed here. 
So now let's go ahead and see the other configurations that we need to do. So let's go to this Orange Pi 5 Max and then in the network section, we need to add a Linux bridge. So on adding this Linux bridge, I need to specify the IP address. So I'm going to copy this IP address itself and I'm going to put 32. That is the entire IP address. And then I'm going to specify my gateway. So in my case, it is 0 0.1. So I'm going to specify the same gateway. And then I'm going to specify this bridge port, which is going to be this value from here. So this is the network device name that we have. And I'm going to specify that as the bridge port. And with this, I'm going to click on create and apply these configurations. So once these configurations are all applied, now we are ready to create a VM. So what we are going to do is I'm going to go to this Orange Pi 5 Max and then click on create VM. And then here I'm going to give it a name like Debian. And then let's click on next. And then I'm going to specify the ISO image that we downloaded before. That is the Debian installation medium. And I'm going to select this ISO click on next here. I'm not going to make any changes. These are the default configurations that I'm going to keep click on next. And then I'm going to specify the disk space. So here I'm going to select the local storage. So this is the storage that we have here. So this is the local storage from the orange Pi 5 max. And then I'm going to specify a disk space of 32 GB right now. I'm going to click on next. And here I'm going to specify four cores because the orange Pi 5 max has eight cores. I'm going to use four of those. I'm going to click on next here. And then I'm going to specify around four GB of RAM here. And then I'm going to go next to this network section. So this is the bridge we just previously created. And then I'm going to click on next here and then confirm these settings. here. So now we have a Debian virtual machine. But before we start this, what we have to do is we need to go to this hardware section and make some changes here. Why? Because if you see in the documentation here, we have to set some CPU affinity because it has eight cores, which are big cores and little cores. So that's the reason we have to select a set of cores. In our case, we'll be setting the major cores. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the processors, open this, and then in the CPU affinity, I'm going to specify from four to seven. So the processor numbers are from zero to seven. So I'm specifying four to seven. That is the remaining four cores. And I'm going to click on OK. So now our virtual machine configurations are all ready. Let's go ahead and start this. Now. I'm going to click on start here. And there we have it. So right now we have started our Proxmox virtual machine and we should soon get the installation menu. So yeah, so we have this installation menu here. I'm going to go with the graphical installation and click on next here. So the Debian installation menu has come up and I'm going to click on continue. So right now I have gone through the entire setup of specifying the username, passwords, the root passwords, everything. And now the installation is going to continue now. So let's wait for this thing to complete. So now the installation is all complete. Let's click on continue here. So now it has restarted and then we can see this option. So I'm going to select load Debian Linux and there we have it. We have now the first screen for our Debian image. So let me now enter the password here. And now we are running Debian on a virtual machine inside a Proxmox instance that is running on the Orange Pi 5 Max. This is what we have achieved right now. Now let me go through these remaining setup options. Okay, so all the installation is complete. Let's go ahead and try accessing my site. So let me go to activities and let's open my site that is smart home circle and everything all loads well. So with this, I can access internet on this Debian OS image. So this is how I just demonstrated how you can run a virtual machine on a Proxmox instance that is running on an ARM based SPC. Now I have also tried setting up Windows as a virtual machine on it. I was able to get the configurations right and also started the setup, but I didn't have the required drivers to detect the hard drive in the virtual machine. I might have to build the drivers from source for ARM based systems. I created an issue on GitHub about this if you would like to participate. Now, if you like what I do, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as hit that like button for more such videos to come. Now, if you want to support this channel, there are links into the video description below wherein you can buy me a coffee or you can support me via Patreon. 
Till then, take care and I will see you in my next one.